Okay, folks, a little furious update for you. Uh, I have attempted two quarter mile pads. The very first two passes I actually made since I put the car back together the second time, uh, I did two quarter mile passes. And about just before I get to half track, it starts to bow up. Uh, this fiberglass hood starts to bend. It bowed up pretty bad. <laughs> and I, so I had to let out of it. Because <laughs> I. If I had to stay it in, it it a quarter mile, somewhere around 100, I guess about 108 mile an hour. And, uh, you know, I was at 82, it was already starting to bow up. So I said, if I don't get out of it, it's going to just crack the hood and blow the hood off. And I can't afford another. These hoods ain't cheap. They're custom made. So uh, I'm going to put two more hood pins. I've got my places marked here. And uh, bear with me just a second. There's a piece right here that the hood latch uh, fits into and uh, bolts here there and then down to that piece there and i've got it on my little work table here so i'm going to uh drill the necessary holes to mount two more hood pins and while i got this out i'll probably drill a few lightning holes to what be a wash with the weighted hood pins now i got my bag of lanyards over here so i need to install four lanyards if you don't know what lanyards are it's the cables that and the pins that hold everything together. So uh, that's what we're gonna do today. I'll paint them black like I did these. I'll be working on this the rest of the day, looks like. But that's your little furious look data. I am still working on the body. It's, I swear, it's every time I think I'm done with it, I find another little spot that I can improve on. A uh, little pinhole today, I mean, and I picked on a little bit. It opened up a little bit more. So uh, we have put some more epoxy in it. As you can see right there, so uh, that'll be dry this afternoon. Maybe this afternoon I can get out here and sand on it. If not, it'll be tomorrow. It's always something. I got to work on this door. I don't know what to do with this door. I found the parts car. The guy's got a reasonable price on it. His door's in better shape than that one. But to disassemble his door and put my parts in the door, the leg sand and all that, and to cut the bracing and all out. Holy cow, folks. I don't know. I think I may just fiberglass the bottom of the door and be done with it. That's where we're at. I'll give, I get this finished whenever, today or tomorrow. I'll uh, give you a new update. Another thing, uh, when you own a race car, it's where you're trying to, when you're trying to rebuild a race car or build a race car, there's always something to do. And uh, I am uh, find myself, not only am I putting the hood pin, another set of hood pins in and working on the body, working on the carburetor, but I'm also ch constantly charging these batteries back here. It's got dual batteries. And, uh, It'll start okay off of just one for a little while, but I don't run an alternator on this car. Um, so that's why I've got dual batteries. When, when I'm actually at the track racing, I hook the two batteries up. Now I've got this connection back here where I can plug in and just charge, put the charger on just these lugs here and get both batteries at once. But it seems like it just, uh, when you're on a two amp charge, it doesn't seem like it charges as good. It takes forever. So I, only, I used that battery there the other day to, when I was warming the engine up with the carburetor. I didn't have this one hooked up. It was just one start. It was, it was fine. It started right up. So uh, I'm going to charge that battery up. I, I change them back and forth. But when I get to the track, I will hook them both up. But uh, that's just, uh, there's always something going on, it seems like. Uh, put it, and I charged it two amps, which, which, you know, it'll be fully charged here in about, three, I guess, three or four hours. So uh, there you go.